Welcome to section 2, where we'll navigate and use PowerShell with the Active Directory fluently. In this section, we're going to access the PowerShell interface. We're going to access the PowerShell help system. We're going to discover Active Directory commands. We'll analyze some Active Directory commands. We'll work with some PowerShell errors. We're going to cover PowerShell security. And then we'll look at some built-in protections for Active Directory with PowerShell. Accessing and customizing the PowerShell interface. So back on our DC, we are going to access PowerShell by going to the Start menu, and then it's going to be right here. Now, depending on Server 2016, where it puts it here, or Server 2012, where it's going to put it down here on the bar, you can just simply click it. It's going to open it up, and typically, if you're logged in as an administrator, which you would be on a domain controller, you'll get it in an administrator console. Now, it's important to note what console you're in, whether it's an administrator console or a standard console. A standard console is only going to say Windows PowerShell. It will not have the administrator next to it. And that's important because if you're on a client machine, you want to make sure that you are not in an administrator console unless you need to run administrative commands. That's just the best practice, least privilege, less likely to mess something up in production. So from here, we'll make sure that we've got Active Directory by doing a git ad user, and it gives us a prompt. It wants filter, it needs more information, but that's fine. We don't need to do that. We'll do control C because we just want to make sure it was available. Now on Windows 10, so on your client machine, you're not going to have Active Directory available right away. What you'll need to do is go to your host computer and you'll need to go to a web browser and you'll need to search RSAT download. And that's the Remote Server Administrative Tools for Windows 7 or 10. You're going to look for Windows 10. When you click on that, it's going to take you to a link where Microsoft has the Remote Server Administration Tools for Windows 10. You'll download that install file. Then you'll go put it on your Windows 10 client virtual machine and install it there. And then that will give you those commands. There's one other way that you can access Active Directory from your client machine in your lab environment. And that would be to enter a PS session. So we're on the domain controller, so we don't really have a way to remote into the domain controller. But just for an example, we'll, we'll do an enter PS session on our app server. And there we are. You can see that it has app at the very beginning of our line. And if we type host name, it returns app. So we now are on that actual machine. So if we were on our client machine and we did an enter PS session, DC, then it would enter us onto the DC and we would then be able to access the Active Directory commands. Now to exit out of a remote session, you just simply type exit. It's going to bring us back to our regular prompt. And then we can do our get AD user. And we get our little prompt saying you didn't give me enough information. So we know that it is available and we have access to our Active Directory PowerShell environment.